Westbrook City Councilor says that he regrets telling a crowd that he would not mind if Governor LePage went, quote, to see his maker. Well, Paul Emery also made a comment about assassination being a political strategy. WMTW News 8 political reporter Paul Merrill is here now to tell us more about what Emery and others are saying today. Paul. Well, Tracy, the chairman of the Cumberland County Republican Party wants Emery to resign, but Emery told us he is not stepping down. He says his service to the public should not be judged by one quick moment when he admits he should have just shut up. I made a mistake. Paul Emery apologized both on and off camera today. He even got emotional about the way he represented his constituents last night. I love the city that I'm in. And if I make a mistake as a man, I own up to it and try to go on from there. Emery was at this Scarborough forum where Democratic leaders were fielding questions about their budget plan. The Westbrook City Councilor says he was fired up about the effects Governor LePage's budget could have on cities and towns. Emery says he was trying to be funny but went too far. A freedom of speech is fine, but it has to be balanced uh, with a sense of responsibility and discretion if you're a public official. Democrats were quick to condemn what Emery said, but some say they weren't quick enough. We asked Senate Minority Leader Justin Alfond why he and the Speaker of the House didn't shut Emery down sooner. He clearly was unstable. He was irrational. He made some statements that uh, we should have condemned right away. Uh, we didn't, uh, and that's a fault of the speaker and mine. Emery then tried to convince a reporter not to print his comments, going so far as to take Portland Press Herald reporter Steve Missler's phone. Today, Missler told us, I have no idea why he believes an elected official shouldn't be held accountable for making such comments about Governor Paul LePage or why he thought a news reporter would help him keep his remarks quiet. I also have no idea what he hoped to accomplish by attempting to steal my phone and leave the venue. Regarding his run-in with Missler, Emery told us this. Well, I'd rather not comment on that. Let's just say that I was tired and cranky. Emery says he did call the governor's office this afternoon to apologize. He has not heard back yet. Governor LePage's office did not want to comment to us for this story. Westbrook's mayor tells us she's exploring options and consequences regarding Emery's behavior. Live in the studio, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.